Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to install Android Lollipop on Samsung Galaxy S3. We'll install a custom ROM which is not officially supported by XDA developers so you won't get any support for that ROM. The ROM is Cyanogen Mod 12.1 that is Android Lollipop and that has been unofficially released for Samsung Galaxy S3 that is i9300. Before moving forwards I want to tell you that if you proceed with the tutorial you are doing it at your own risk. I'm not responsible for anything that will happen to your phone or your data as this process can go well or it can potentially break your device so be careful. So let's get going. In order to install Cyanogen mod in Samsung Galaxy S3 you'll need to have custom recovery flash in the device. For that we will install Clockwork Mod Recovery. So I'll show you how to install Clockwork Mod Recovery for Samsung Galaxy S3. Before moving forwards, make sure that USB debugging is checked in Developer Options. If you don't see Developer Options, then you have to go in About Device and then tap on Build Number. Here, after tapping it many times, Developer Options will be enabled and in Developer Options you have to check USB debugging. Now before moving on forwards, I recommend that you back up all your data because this will delete everything that's present on the phone. Make sure that the device has more than 60% of battery charge left. Now connect your device to your PC as you have to transfer two files to the device. We will connect it to PC. Now you have to download three files. First is Cyanogen Mod 12.1 for Samsung Galaxy S3 that is i9300. This is an official version. You have to download Clockwork Mod Recovery and you have to download G Apps. The download link will be in the description below. Now you have to copy two files that is Cyanogen Mod and G Apps to Samsung Galaxy S3. If you have memory card then you can install it on memory card that's most preferable. You have to paste these files in the memory card. You'll also need Odin for the procedure and also the drivers for Samsung Galaxy S3. The download links will be in the description below. Here are the two files, Samsung USB drivers and Odin 3. We'll extract Samsung Odin 3 and we'll also install Samsung USB drivers. I have already installed the driver so I won't install it again but make sure that you install these drivers. Now we'll go back to the device and disconnect it from PC. Now we'll power it off. Now we'll start Odin. We'll run it as an administrator. Okay, we'll keep it running and go back to the device. Now we'll have to start the device in the download mode. For that, press volume down key, the home button key and the power key together and release the key when this pops up. And to continue, press volume up. Now connect your device back to the PC using the cable provided. Keep it here so that you can see it. Now on Odin, you have to press AP or if you have previous versions of uh, Odin you have to select PDA we'll select AP and and select custom mod recovery 6.0.4.7 this is the touch version and press open now in the options make sure that auto reboot and F reset time is checked and repartition is not checked and then we'll press the start button and as you can see this is showing pass and the phone has rebooted okay the device has restarted we'll disconnect it from PC and power it off and now we'll start the device in the recovery mode it's pressing volume up home button power button together release the keys when the Samsung logo appears and as you can see this is the clockwork mod recovery now we'll move forward with installing cyanogen mod first we'll do a factory reset move down using the volume keys and select by pressing the power key and yes wipe all user data but before pressing this yes make sure that all your data has been backed up because this will delete everything that's present on the phone now we'll press yes formatting data formatting cache Okay, the data wipe complete. Now we'll wipe the cache partition, select it, and then do wipe cache. And cache wipe is completed. Now we'll go in advanced, 
select it and then wipe Dell Wick cache. Just wipe Dell Wick cache. Dell Wick cache has been wiped. Now we'll go back and then move to install zip and we'll choose it from the SD card. Here you have copied those files to the SD card. Here is the Cyanogen mod 12.1. We'll select it and select it by pressing the power button. And here we'll press yes install. It might take some time. So I'll quickly move forward. Okay, as you can see, script succeeded. Install from SD card complete. Now we'll go back to install zip from SD card. We will install mini G apps and press yes. Now we'll go back and then reboot the system now. You don't have to fix root. Press no and the phone will reboot. This might take some time, so I will quickly move forward. Okay, now the Android is starting. Customizing app. Okay, I will fast forward this. Okay, here's the Cyanogen mode. I will quickly set it up and come back to you. Okay, here is the Cyanogen mod. Let's go into the settings. Go into about. Cyanogen mod 12.1. This is it. This is how you install Android Lollipop, which is actually Cyanogen mod based on Android Lollipop. If you have any queries, please leave a comment down below. If you like this video, then please click the like button at the bottom of the video. For more unboxing reviews and tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Goodbye.